Box Groove, released from myself and Hieroglyphics. The support has been amazing for all three tracks. Mm. Sam Binger, we've been playing the dogs, like he said he's been playing in every set of it, so that's probably one of the main reasons I wanted to put it out, just because he was like really behind it. And he was like, oh, send it to this guy, send it to that guy, do this, do that. And uh, I took his advice and it, it paid off pretty well. I think I sent it to like three or four people, like Deft, Rockwell, uh, Kazra, all three of them played it that week. Rockwell didn't even get back, he just played it the same night on Radio 1, which, fair enough, isn't it? <laughs> I can guess he's, he's pretty busy and he was just looking for tunes and that. Um, since then, we've had like Fanu, who's like he's quite legendary in drum and bass, really. He's gone from like sort of breaks and jungly sort of stuff to the real futury stuff. So, yeah, this, it's been pretty well. I mean, there's, there's been others as well, but they're like the notable the ones that have proper like hit home. It's like, yeah, like we're actually uh, getting our sound out there, which is really nice. Basically, I, finished, I was working in London at the time and I just came over after work. Uh, I think it was around like six or seven or something. Um, and yeah, we just smashed it out really quickly, didn't we? Yeah, I was playing around with the good old Roland Groove box, because uh, Matty likes a bit of hardware and that. So he was m m mucking around with a few samples and then we started recording it in, resampling it in, and uh, I brought in some cheeky little garage drums and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, and some breaks and then I'd, yeah it was pretty cool it was a matter of days afterwards that we had like the v1 which is pretty much where the pre-master came from really yeah i'm peace like that 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 i'm peace like that 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 yeah my track's called move over um i think i did it yeah summer last year basically around right that kind of time um and yeah i kind of wanted to make something using like a vocal sample um, make it quite like hip hop influenced. Yeah. I thought it came out cool. I thought it was good. I like to write a lot of different stuff. So kind of have um, maybe some kind of like rollers and then kind of have some, something a bit more yeah. different really. Like, he sends me a lot of his stuff and uh, I, I like his production is really good. A lot of the music he does isn't really suited for the label yeah. but recently over the past six, seven months, there's been quite a few bits and bobs that I'm like, yeah, 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 I like that, I like that. Move over, I think that turned up straight away. I was like, what was going on with that? Is it signed or not? And he was like, no, it's, it's open. And I was like, well, let's have a go. The whole thing works together really well as well, which is good. Mm. Very organic as well, because we didn't mean it to happen. Like, it just sort of came together and it works really well, so. It's by the dogs. The dogs first ever solo, first ever tune I have finished on my own sort of thing, right? And uh, I mean, I really like it. I sat down one day and I was just putting loads of breaks together because it's got like about five or six different drum breaks that I've chopped up, put them into the same sort of pattern, put a bass line and a little ragger thing going, blah, clap. And <laughs> everyone seemed to like it. And they called the dogs because one, it has a sample right at the beginning, which you can't even hear if, if you're mixing it or anything. And it was just for my just for my crew, just for my mates, you know. A few people started actually playing it out quite a bit, and then it just sort of made sense. Like it is pretty different. It would definitely, definitely work with Move Over and Box Groove. Spoke to Matt; he was happy with, with doing that. Helped me finish the final mix down as well. Yeah. At the same time as Box Groove, so you know it all sounded kind of round and together as a as a project. I've never done anything solo before, as I was saying, so it's, it's pretty exciting that the first sort of thing I'm putting out has uh, gone off really well. So thank you everyone for playing the tune. <laughs> Shouts to the crew. <laughs> yeah, big up everyone who's played it, bought <laughs> it, shared it on the Facebooks and Twitters and stuff like that. Yeah. Mwah. Keep it different, go and buy it. It's only three quid. <laughs> <laughs>